Record actions in iRise give you the ability to perform a wide array of operations on datasheet records. In this video, we'll show you how to use record actions to save, update, and delete data records. Let's imagine that we want to visualize a simple CRM workflow. From a main page in which we display a list of customer records, our reviewer should be able to create a new record and update or delete existing records. We'll start out on the customer list page. We've created a data table with four columns. We'll use the first three columns to display data records. In the fourth column, we've added two buttons, an update button and a delete button. We'll need a data sheet to populate the data table. Let's take a shortcut here and use one of the sample data sheets that ship with iRise. Back on the customer list page, we'll add a get record widget by dragging the customer's data sheet to the canvas. Then we'll map our placeholders in the data table to the corresponding fields in the data sheet. We'll need a quick add button above the data table. This button will launch a pop-up window containing the new customer page. To configure a link widget to launch a pop-up window, we just need to make the appropriate selection in the Set Destination dialog. We've already laid out the form in the new customer page, but we still need to add the data features. Since we're creating a new record with this form, we need a Save Record action linked to the customer's data sheet. If we drag the form widget to the Save Record action, we can use the Data Flow Editor to map the data flow. Finally, let's configure the navigation for the two buttons. The Cancel button will simply close the pop-up window. The Create button will first submit the form, and then close the pop-up and refresh the parent window so it displays the new record. We'll launch from the Customer List page to test our work so far. The data flows into the table as expected. Clicking the Quick Add button launches our pop-up. Let's see if entering some data and submitting the form has the desired effect. There's our new record. So far, so good. Now let's activate our Update and Delete buttons. Both of these operations will rely on a built-in feature of data tables in iRise, the ability to send a clicked record to the clipboard. The Delete Record action is the simpler of the two. If we right-click the Delete button, we can choose Add Event, Record, and then select Delete Record. This creates navigation from the button to the record action. Note that Clipboard Record is selected by default. To see the change, we'll need to refresh the page after the record action. Similar to the Quick Add button, the Update button will launch a pop-up window, this time containing the Update Customer page. Since we're updating existing data with this form, we should display that data when the page loads. We'll make sure to select Clipboard Records in the Properties panel, so the correct data flows into the form. This time when we capture the data, we'll use an update record action instead of a save record action. Once again, let's test our simulation. Clicking the delete button has the desired effect. Keep in mind that this action is actually deleting a record from your datasheet, which has implications for server-based projects. Clicking the Update button launches the Update Customer form, which displays the existing data. We'll change a value, click Update, and our data table now reflects the change. Although the relatively simple interactions we created here barely scratch the surface of what you can do with record actions, they should also meet your needs most of the time. Thanks for watching.